Hi all, welcome to Beer Knowledge Center. And in this session, we'll look at low cost, low testing tool, which is Python based. So if you look at uh, different testing tools available in the market, so each individual testing tool is having its own unique style of uh, you know, writing scripts and uh, executing scripts and getting up stats and exporting results and interacting with different kind of, you know, the uh, parameters and, uh, you know, the uh, request and response related fields, et cetera, et cetera. So this locus is a Python based testing tool, which is used for low testing and uh, user behavior simulations, et cetera, we can do with this locust. So locust testing is the practice of testing in the software application uh, can be uh, in, in any language with the primary purpose of this uh, uh, stressing the application's capabilities. So it supports uh, runtime multiple load tests or distributed system. Therefore, it can be used for uh, simulate millions of users. And even locust also provides a nice graphical user interface, which is in the classic uh, UI in Python for viewing data metrics about our APIs and web page request. So uh, this Locust has having user-friendly web interface, as you mentioned, it is going to show you, uh, you know, different metrics. Let me quickly show you that. So you'll have some idea. There is something uh, Locust uh, uh, web interface where you can see different options here, uh, statistics, charts, values, exceptions, current ratio, and download and workloads. So all these things can be, you know, you can see it from Locust uh, uh, websites where uh, uh, everything is available in single page and you can uh, get into that and see that. So, uh, and you know, you uh, observe like what is happening with your API and clients and uh, different HTTP requests, having into that link, you know, having of what time it is taking to send requests to a server and getting a response from the server, etc. So you can even uh, change the load while the test is running uh, because uh, you have different options here, like, you know, um, uh, edit and uh, stop and start and reset stats, etc. So it has, uh, uh, you know, beautiful UI uh, that shows the progress of your test in real time. It can also be run without UI also in the locust if you wanted to run that. But UI looks more uh, interactive to users to uh, know or more understanding of the you know um, performance metrics, etc. So uh, if you look at the uh, locust, you you know uh, installation and other aspects to be interacting with this locust. So as I mentioned, it's an open source Python based tool, testing tool. So uh, uh, we must come up with this uh, in the Python itself, so not any uh, other tools. So what we have to do is we need to install that and you need to get that uh, fun experience with this Locustio. If you go and see here in this, uh, you know, uh, Locustio, so uh, website here, documents. So this is basically very easy and useful, scriptable and scalable performance testing tool where you can go through all this stuff here. It is having some uh, description and history of Locust, and uh, like you know, how did this get named and the background of his name. So, uh, the next attack that I can see it from here. So, only thing was with this Locust uh, testing tool was it has a beautiful web based UI, the friendly UI interface, which shows the progress of your test in real time. You can even change the load test with the test. Uh, running uh, process. So it can also be, you know, integrated in CIC testing with the uh, pipelines and other Jenkins process. So where it is going to execute your uh, low test and, uh, uh, you know, uh, give you the stats in the console itself. So even if you don't want to uh, run these and showcase on the UI, we can switch up that using uh, small, you no know, easy command line interface commands, like, you know, hyphen, hyphen, headers, header off. So that it, it will not, you know, uh, display or you no know, connected to the web interface UI. It only uh, displays the results in the console itself. So, so there are uh, several benefits with that because um, uh, it is very friendly and uh, having easy syntax to write scripts here. Only thing was we need to install it in your system, and I think uh, 
Python 3.6 or uh, uh, later versions uh, could be a um, very beneficial uh, uh, to get this installed locus into a local system. So that we can see in the next session. So uh, you can enjoy that, like, you know, installing after that. So basically you need to have a Python software and then you need to have pip and uh, with that pip you need to install the locus here. Okay. So as I mentioned, you no, know, it is having so many options here. Even your statistics can be uh, seen like this, and you can see the charts and uh, uh, where it is going to display your stats in the graphical representation. Like you know, x-axis is having uh, the time part, and the y-axis is having number of users and the request being processed for the user. And failure section is going to display you, you know, that kind of uh, failure cases being happened during the test. And exceptions again, it is going to log and show you. Uh, during the test happening, or if, if any error is occurring, it is going to display you uh, exceptions here itself. And current ratio itself is going to show you like how it is running your request and download data basically having the different options to uh, import, uh, sorry, export the result sets to uh, uh, targeted uh, paths or you can download it from here. And of course, basically showcase the you know different kind of uh, options here itself. So looking at this UI, I think we are not, uh, you know, uh, uh, waiting for that and eagerly uh, I wanted to get into that and see like um, how it is working to run through a sample web API and see the metrics, how it is showcased. So let me quickly, uh, you know, uh, uh, bind, up, bind, up the, bind up this session and get into the next session to install that. So thing was we just installed through a, a pip uh, package uh, software on uh, the Python. Let me look into that in the, the next session. Thank you.